Welcome to your mat today. My name is Paul. I'm so happy to be here with you. We're gonna do a short and sweet, playful flow practice. It should be about a 15 minute practice. You may not need any props, but if you have a block or two, have them handy. It's always good to have blocks nearby. We're adding three new 10 to 20 minute classes to the channel every week. And these are really geared for those of you who are short on time, right? You got a busy full life, maybe you're a parent, maybe you're a student, maybe you're just in the thick of it in life. And so we're trying to inspire you to get on the mat multiple times a week because we all know how transforming and how awesome this practice is. So be sure to subscribe to the channel and that way you'll never miss a class and leave some comments and let us know what you'd like to see more of on the channel. It's mostly we're adding all levels classes, but we'll have some upper level classes as well and some beginner classes for sure. So thank you for being here. I'm really excited for our practice today. And with that, let's get started. Come on to all fours and we'll begin in downward facing dog. The hands forward to the shoulders, spread your fingers, soften your chest towards the earth, and then lift up and back. And for this first downward dog, bend a knee, straighten the other leg, loosen up. I think many of us, anytime we come to down dog, we wind up bending a knee and straightening the other leg. It's just nice to move around, but it's also nice to find some steadiness in your pose. Maybe sway your hip side to side here. Like a puppy dog, wagging its tail. Then bend both knees, bringing your knees almost to the floor. Bent knee dog. Move your hips up and back, though. With your inhale, straight legs as you shift forward to plank pose. Bring your knees to the floor. Grasshopper will bend the elbows, lower forward and down. If you can bring chin and chest down, you'll do that. But we're pushing back up as well. Back to downward dog with bent knees. So shift your hips back. Inhale forward to plank two more times, just like that. Knees to the floor, bend your elbows, inhale back up, bent knee dog, stretch it back. Final time, inhale forward, knees to the floor. This time let's come all the way down, rest on your belly, clasp your fingers behind your back for Shalabhasan, lift your chest off the floor, extend your arms. If you're not able to clasp, if your shoulders are tighter, tighter here, just extend arms straight back with palms apart and keeping your chest lifted bring your hands as if you were going to do cobra pose but hands are off the floor and then hands come down for cobra maybe you stay in low cobra perhaps you're lifting a little bit higher lift your side body draw your shoulders back without moving your hands start to pull your hands back you'll feel your triceps engage and then up and back to down dog. Heating it up quickly. Short amount of time. We got to get right at it. Bring your knees to the floor. Extend your right arm out in front. Extend your left leg back behind you. Three times we're going to tap elbow to knee. Otherwise stay as you are if that doesn't work for you. Exhale and round. Elbow to knee. Inhale. Open it up. Exhale again, right elbow, left knee tap. Inhale, stretch it out. Final time. Inhale, stretch. Now bring your right hand to the floor and sweep your left leg forward into a lunge position. Anjaneyasana, low lunge position. Reach your arms up alongside your ears. Left foot, right knee, press down and they pull in towards each other. Lift through the heart. Stay like this or bring your left forearm to your thigh and lean over to the left, looking under the right arm. So a side stretch in our low lunge position. Relax your face. Inhale and rise. Bring your hands to the floor. Here's where a block or two can come in handy. Coming into the runner stretch, Ardha Hanumanasana. So left leg extends, hands on the floor or blocks. Press your left heel down, pull back isometrically like you're going to drag your foot back. 
turn over your thigh and fold. It's focused awareness. With the discipline, the first discipline is showing up, stepping on the mat. And the next is bringing full attention to what's happening. This discipline is known as tapas. It's a heat, it's a fire that you bring to whatever you're doing. And that's how we transform, by bringing the heat. Inhale, lengthen forward. From here, bend your knee and pull your foot back. And then with your right leg, spin your shin 90 degrees to the left. And walk your left foot over to the right slightly. Variation of side angle pose. Left forearm on the thigh, right arm alongside the ear. With the option to bring left hand to a block or to the floor. Look under the right arm. Draw your right shoulder back. Anchor your tailbone down, so feel a lift to your belly. And inhale and rise. Now we go the other way, right hand to the floor or to a block, to the outside of the right leg, left arm alongside your ear. Variation of gate pose. Looking under your left arm. Notice a lot of side stretching already. As many of you know, what I like to say, it's never a bad time for a side stretch. Side stretching is just underdone in daily life. Inhale and rise. Now bring both hands to the floor on the inside of the front leg. Spin your back leg in, lift the knee, and ground the foot. We'll go full side angle pose. Either forearm to the thigh, arm alongside the ear, or hand to the floor or a block. The right thigh bone, press it back and widen it. The left buttock, scoop it under, lift through your belly. These alignment cues will help refine your pose and take it to the next level. Just feel greater clarity and freedom in your hips and in your spine. And exhale, right hand to the floor, back to down dog. Inhale forward to plank and bring your knees to the floor. Second side, stretch the right leg back, send the left arm forward. Let's see if we can remember everything that we just did. Elbow and knee tap. Inhale and open. Exhale and tap. Inhale, stretch it out. Exhale and tap. Inhale and stretch. Left hand comes down. Sweep the right leg forward. Lunge. Low lunge. Anjaneyasana. Stretch. Arms up alongside the ear. Front foot, back knee, drawing towards each other. lighten the energy, right? You want to be strong and focus, but feel a lightness as well. Playfulness. Right forearm to the thigh if you'd like. Left arm alongside the ear. We'll side stretch. Looking under the left arm. Soften your eyes, especially the left eye. Inhale up. Hands to the floor. Runner stretch. Press your right heel down. Pull back. Turn your belly over your thigh as you lengthen and fold. The most important part of being present is being present with what is. Meeting yourself as you are, not needing to change anything. Whether you feel really loose and free or tight and contracted, just be with it. Rest into it. Inhale and lengthen. And then do the work. Do the best you can here. Spin your left leg. Walk your right foot over. Either forearm to the thigh or hand to floor or block for our modified Parjvakanasan side angle pose. Look under your left arm and scoop the right buttock under. Relax your face. Inhale and rise. 
other direction, left hand to the floor or block. You might notice that one side is more challenging than the other. For me, it's harder to get the left hand down on this side than it was the right hand on the other. Bow out through the right side body. Inhale and rise. Both hands to the floor, spin the left leg, lift it up. Side angle pose, either forearm to the thigh or hand to floor or block. Now root your left thigh bone back and even lift through the back inner thigh. And the right buttock can scoop under. So I'm showing it, I'm trying to make it as clear as possible if you're not sure what those directions mean. I'll do it again. Left thigh bone roots back and widens. And then as you bend into the front leg, the right buttock scoops under and you feel the result of that, a tone of the pelvic floor, a lift through the belly. The bundas are engaged. Exhale, hand to the floor, plank pose. And then come all the way down. Prop up on your left forearm, reach back with your right hand for a thigh stretch. Never a bad time for a thigh stretch. This is the resting pose. You could always hold the outer foot. If you're able to, you'll grab the inner foot and spin over the foot. Lift through your chest. Now to be playful, an option here, if you'd like, lift your back leg off the floor as well. And if you want to go to the next level, this is pretty challenging. Right foot is still pulling down. As I said, it's all levels. Do what works for you. Try lifting your left forearm off the floor, but don't talk. It's really hard to talk in this position. Exhale. And release. One could jump switch that, but that's a tough jump switch. Right forearm down, left hand reaching back. So left inner heel moving towards outer left hip. Lift the right leg off the floor if you'd like. Otherwise, just stay as you are. Next stage, lift the right forearm as well. So it's a half frog, half locust position. Exhale. And release. That's pretty tiring, that one. All right. Elbows under the shoulders. Hands in line with the elbow. Lift your knees, walk your feet forward. If your hamstrings are tighter, you'll want to bend your knees. Just a little dolphin action here. Move chest towards your thighs. Bring your knees to the floor. Adjust your feet, you're coming onto your back. So shift into a supine position. Love it. Short, sweet, to the point, on point. But before we close out with Shavasana, Sutta Padangustasana. Stretch your right leg up and clasp your fingers behind your thigh. You could always use a belt if your hamstring is tighter here, you're not able to grab, or just bend the knee slightly. Then extend left leg out on the floor. Press your thigh into your hands. So you're resisting your thigh towards the front of the mat. And bring right foot to left knee and we're twisting take the come on to the outer left hip as the right knee goes to the left reach your right arm to the right one of my favorite of the classes of postures twists first full dedicated twist of the practice inhale and rise but there was no way we were closing this one out without a twist Stretch your left leg up, clasp your fingers behind your left thigh. If you'd like, stretch your right leg straight. Press your left thigh into your hands. Resist it. Pull your hands into your thigh. Help with the resistance. Then left foot on right knee. Come to the outer right hip. Twist to the left.
to your breath getting quieter, your energy softening. Inhale back up. We'll close it out with happy baby or just hugging knees into the chest. And then stretch out for Shavasana. So important to incorporate Shavasana into our practice. It's integrating all the movement. So make a choice to let everything go right now. Let's relax. Let your body be heavy on the earth. Feel yourself letting go. I'll leave you here in Shavasana. If you can stay, please give yourself this gift. Spend a few minutes in silence and stillness. We'll see you on the mat again with the next class. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Namaste.